and it'll stay short in the ground until the temperatures grow up. And see, a pre-emergent only kills weed seeds. It only kills any kind of seed. I mean, it kills vegetable seed, tree seed. If it's a seed, that herbicide only kills seeds as they germinate. So are you following me? Now, where, where am I going with this? What is a grass burr? Where's your grass burrs at? The grass burrs are in your turf. And again, there's not a, there's no more. There used to be termicide 529 and stuff like that that would take grass burrs out, but with misuse of a lot of herbicides, the EPA has taken those products out of the homeowner's hands. And so we have limited chemicals now to treat lawns, weeds, and, and certain things. And so again, on grass burrs and goat heads, now goat heads is not grass, but what I'm going to talk about those two because those are going to be a question. Goat heads are a broadleaf weed like the dandelion. It's a broadleaf. And so when you use a dandelion killer, then that's what you want to use on a broadleaf weed. Now, the thing on that is on goat heads, and you won't find that on a label, it's going to be called puncture vine. When you're looking for a product to use to spray those things, it's called puncture vine. That's the botanical name, I mean the, the name that they use in the industry. So you go look at a weed begone right here. Well, I don't find goat head. That's not what it's called. It's puncture vine. I mean, you've all walked on them, you've all rode bicycles, and you've got you, and you get punctured, right? That's what it's, that's the name. But again, on those two products, again, you want to put in your turf, I'm talking about now, put that pre-emergent down no later than February 20th also. In JAL and Eunice, they'll be up, I've been to, to JAL on the south side of the library in late January, and there's stickers on just like this grass right here next to the, the building of the library. They're a little bit warmer than we are, the southern part of the county, but again, it's in a south side exposure. So, and, and again, so you want to get that on there. And, and, and your pre-emergence will kill the other seeds, dandelion seeds, other seeds that blow in, and when the windstorms start up and everything like that, then those will take those out. And so those products you need to start finding right now, and, and they'll have them in the spring. Um, if you like the fern loam, high yield type products, Bunk's Feed Barn is still carrying that. A lot of people like that particular brand to use on the first term. How, but, but you want to use a long range. Go ahead, Derek. How, how is corn gluten? <coughs> corn gluten works great on certain weeds. It doesn't wipe everything out. Yeah. And I, there was two yards in Hobbs uh, last year that used corn gluten on stickers, grass burrs. And it was kind of a 50-50. One yard was better than the other. The other yard had patches here and there. And that, not, that just might be because a person didn't get a, a good coverage with a spreader or something like that. But corn gluten is out, out, out of corn, and it's the gluten out, out of the seed when they separate that stuff out. And you get that on the ground, and it actually inhibits seeds from coming up. And that's a natural product. It's organic. And, uh, and you know, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you. I'm, you know, Derek's organic gardener. He's organic farmer and farmer and everything. Organic here at this facility. And so that means... <coughs> I'm surprised not me in the door with this stuff, okay? <laughs> as long as Brittany doesn't see it. But, but, you know, but you've got to understand, most of us are on the other side of the fence. He can stand up and tell you how hard it is to organic garden and farm because he's out there having to hoe it out, mechanically take the stuff out, pick the stick, or, or pull, pull, you know, pick the insects off stuff because they're not using any insecticides. So I'm, I'm just, I'm just, there's, there's two sides here, so. Unless you have to, don't go organic. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a lot of work, but it's a lot of work to do <coughs> if you've got a bad yard and you're not taking care of it. So I mean, you're still going to be out there doing something. But let me.